As with many of id Software's properties, the Wolfenstein series has ridden a strange line between mirroring wider industry trends and charting its own winding path through the medium's history. There's no doubt that works such as Silas Warner's Castle Wolfenstein and id's own successor, Wolfenstein 3D, proved foundational for stealth and shooter games respectively, but just as often, the series was prone to more flawed and forgettable works like 2009's Wolfenstein. In the hands of the studio Machine Games, though, Wolfenstein has largely found itself in a more consistent and perhaps more relevant position than ever before. Three entries deep into giving greater depth to legendary Nazi killer B.J. Blazkowicz and exploring increasingly provocative issues to the realm of cooperative dismantling of the Nazi regime. Shifting its focus as it does away from the series' longtime protagonist and other enduring elements, does this new Wolfenstein entry bring enough of worth to the table to compensate? Welcome to Mojo Plays, and this is our review of Wolfenstein Youngblood. Thanks to a two-decade time jump between games, we now follow the exploits of sisters Soph and Jess Blaskowitz, the twin daughters of BJ. Upon their father disappearing under mysterious circumstances, the Blaskowitz sisters set out for Nazi-occupied Paris in search of him. Along the way, they find themselves wrapped up in a larger plot involving the conflict between the Parisian resistance and the remaining Nazi forces, with hints of a schism emerging among the fascists. Ah, you hear this one? You're killing it, sis. Solid as the game's initial premise is, the actual follow-through is rather lackluster. Youngblood relegates much of its richer story material, mostly centering on what precisely the Elder Blaskowitz is up to and why, leaving the rest of the game a long stretch of loosely connected action beats. Not only does this have the effect of making Youngblood feel thematically shallow compared to its immediate predecessors, it also does a disservice to the genuinely strong sibling dynamic on display with Soph and Jess. Yeah, Jess, you're slaying it. This plays into a deeper issue plaguing the conception and design of Young Blood, namely that it feels half-hearted and compromised by business concerns beyond machine games control. This is still recognizable as a Wolfenstein game in its embrace of warped alt history, war imagery, and blood-soaked gameplay, its careful walking of the line between pulp excess and terrifying morality play. Yet, beneath the oversized weaponry with German names and gory dispatching of Nazi agents, there's signs that the wider industry embrace of live service games design has taken its toll. Consider the game's mission structure, which now eschews discrete linear levels in favor of a hub-based system in which the player travels to different zones of so-called New Paris. Missions themselves consist of a string of quests doled out by Resistance members, completed at a given player's pace and often not tying back into the central storyline. On its face, it's an understandable concession to the integration of online cooperative play, seemingly part of a desire to recreate the success that games like Destiny have had with such freeform play. Where this becomes a problem, however, is in the lasting impact of individual areas. You got it. Environments here are as detailed and exquisitely crafted as ever, but they begin to blur together after a while. Only with the special missions to infiltrate and hack the Nazis' AI housing brother towers does the growing tedium in design give away, and even the difference is marginal. One of the towers being a vastly partially decimated ruin proves a nice change from the norm, and the range of laboratory and industrial sections on display is decently varied. Still, the core experience remains largely unchanged across the game's runtime. Go in, methodically prey upon Nazi officers and robots, loot the carnage, rinse and repeat. That core loop might feel less tiresome if the shift to an RPG-style approach to enemy durability and weapon usefulness didn't feel a tad arbitrary and counterproductive. Okay. Later, dude. Young Blood brings a leveling system into the fold, wherein Jess and Soph gain experience from killing, explorations, and quest completion. You the ah, ah, keep slaughtering the With level gains come ability points, meant for use in purchasing everything from health and armor increases to support powers for cooperative play. The sisters' Nazi adversaries are also tied into this leveling system, gaining levels in step with the player. This led to several instances in which certain mech-based foes and officers were beyond the capacity for us to successfully fight, requiring a temporary retreat or even just avoiding them entirely. Per the expectations of the action RPG genre, the game features a weapon and equipment customization system. The various guns and projectile launchers available here benefit immensely from players spending accumulated silver coins on attachments, like scopes and improved magazines. Silver coins can also be spent buying cosmetic items like unique skins for the sisters' Dahat Yehud power suits. Or you can make a discreet purchase with real money of gold bars that serve the same purpose. 
Between the sleaziness inherent to this kind of indulgence and the optics of a digital facsimile of Nazi gold being sold for real-world currency in a game about killing Nazis, no part of this is comfortable or acceptable. To be entirely fair, some bright spots emerged in our time with the game. It must be stated again that the Blaskowitz siblings are realized here in endearing fashion, portrayed with a mix of sardonic wit and genuine mutual affection by Valerie Lohman and Shelby Young. Jasmine Savoy Brown gets quite a bit of chance to shine as the sister's technology-minded friend and mission support Abby. <laughs> you guys are weird. And while much of the cast of past games have been sidelined or are absent, those who appear still remain affable. The problem with Youngblood in a nutshell is that it feels out of touch on multiple fronts, detached as it is from so much of the past game's strengths. When one takes into account the home run of an idea that is a Wolfenstein game starring the daughters of Blaskowitz, it's impossible not to feel as though a great opportunity has been missed. Those seeking a cooperative experience, any cooperative experience, may find limited satisfaction, but Youngblood is hardly a vital work. If the Nazis will take to the skies, then so shall we. Because there's no way we're going to let those assholes win. No, there is not. Rain is coming, girls. Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.